Do you know your ideal customer? How well do you know them? This is so, so important because if you don't know your ideal customer, you're not going to be able to find where they are online and bring them over to your shop so you can start making sales. In this video, I'm going to talk about how knowing your ideal customer is going to help you with some business decisions that's going to attract them to come over to your shop. And I'm going to share with you my proprietary technique for learning more about your ideal customer in less than 30 minutes. Hi, my name is May Pak and I help makers, artists, and designers create a consistent income selling their handmade products online. So how does knowing your ideal customer help you? Now, if you've done any research online about your ideal customer, you've probably come across a lot of questionnaire PDFs and question prompts that ask you to come up out of thin air the ideal customer's name, her age, where she lives, whether she has kids or not, and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I don't find a lot of practical need in knowing my ideal customer's first name. Like, what do I do with that information, you know? Instead, I wanna share with you how, in some practical ways, knowing your customers can help you grow your business. The first way is with branding. If you don't know your ideal customer, you won't know how to brand your, your shop and your business in a way that's going to attract them. So in very simplistic terms, do you know what colors to use in your brand? Should you be using highly saturated colors or less saturated colors? Should you be using a lot of colors to begin with? Because maybe your ideal customer is kind of a black, gray, and white kind of gal. Another very practical thing that this helps with is in knowing what kinds of prices they're willing to pay for your kind of product. And this includes knowing what things your ideal customer prioritizes or values in life. For example, I have a lot of parents that buy my handmade jewelry at tinyhandsonline.com and there are parents that love spoiling their kids, that love buying treats and toys and fun things for their kids, but then there are also some parents who don't do that because they think it's going to be a waste of money because the thing is going to break in a couple days. When you know what kinds of prices your ideal customers are willing to spend on, this enables you to do is be able to be smarter about the kinds of products that you launch. The third thing that I found hugely helpful in understanding my ideal customer is knowing what other products and what other brands they buy from. How is this helpful? Well, if I knew what other brands they buy from, I can go to those brands' websites and just do a lot of competitive research. I can see what popular products they're selling. I can see what products they're gonna launch soon. And knowing that information, I can take that as a hint for what next new products I want to make in my own shop. Now, I'm not suggesting that you copy exactly, but that you take some inspiration from it. I think there's a difference. But what I recommend to do when you do know what other brands your ideal customer likes and buys from is to join their email list and to follow them on social media because you're going to learn so much about how they do their marketing, about how they write their social media posts, about when they do a giveaway, what kinds of prizes do they give away, when they send out an email newsletter, how do they write their email newsletter, what do they talk about in their email newsletter, what kind of subject lines do they use, and in their product copywriting or in their social media copywriting, do they put a lot of emojis or they, do they use a lot of exclamation points. This is all data that you can use in your own business because if this all works for that brand and it attracts that customer, it's going to work for your brand in attracting that same customer to you. Now, I know you might probably be thinking right now, well, May, I have no idea how to find any of that information. It's great that you're putting all of this out there, but I don't know if they like colorful colors or more subdued colors or if they're price conscious or if they're very affluent. Well, now I'm going to share with you my proprietary technique that I call my coattail technique. And if you follow the simple five-step process, you're going to be able in the next 30 minutes, learn so much more about your ideal customer than you've ever known before. This is a process that I created myself through a lot of trial and error. Now, the first step is I want you to make a list of other brands that are similar in style as you and who are really, really successful. So don't go looking into Etsy for making this list because that's not going to work. 
If you can't think of other similar brands that is sharing the same style as you, and mind you, you don't have to look for other brands that are the same product as you. So if I make cute handmade jewelry, I don't necessarily have to look for other cute handmade jewelry brands, although I can. But if you can think beyond the type of product you make, that's gonna make this process a lot easier to do. So say for example, you make boho chic spiritual jewelry. So then you can go into Google and search for those keywords, boho chic jewelry, and see what comes up in search results. And if you wanna expand beyond jewelry, then you can type in boho chic spiritual clothing, boho chic spiritual wall art. And then whatever search results come up, you want to click in as many of them and check out those websites. And what you're doing at this point is to just see if they check out, like, do they really sell a product that is similar in style as you? This is going to be a little bit more of a subjective, like, it's going to be your call kind of thing. So there's not really a hard and fast formula to follow with that. But start building up your list and once you have that, then you can move on to step two. So you're on these brands' websites. Now I want you to go check out their Instagram and their Facebook profiles. Step number three, that was fast, right? Step number three, you're going to start reading their posts. Step number four, when you find a comment from someone who sounds like they were a customer who has bought something from this brand before, or if they sound like they have some intention to buy from this brand, then I want you to click on this person's profile. That is step number five. Just as a heads up, a lot of these profiles are going to be private because these are going to be normal people who are using Instagram as a personal account. But there are going to be a lot of them who do have their profiles set to not private. So trust in this process and have patience with it because you're going to find so much golden information about your ideal customers that is going to help you determine a lot of business decisions that will attract them to you. So you're gonna repeat this process for as many times as you need until you can start to see a pattern form. When you've seen enough of these people's profiles, people who have bought something from these brands who share a similar style as you before, you're gonna know exactly what things they love in life, what things they're passionate about, what magazines they read, what TV shows they watch, what kinds of colors they like, because it's all gonna show and come through through the photos that they post on Instagram. And you can do the same thing on Facebook too. So this is how you can know exactly who your ideal customer is, what they like, what they don't like, and then apply that to your business. I want you to let me know in the comments whether this was helpful for you or not. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments too. If you enjoyed this video and you learned a ton, be sure to click on this other video on the screen too because I'm going to share with you more tips on how you can grow your handmade business. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next one.